but hybrids still burn gas. At his shop at UC Davis, Andy Frank is changing that. In actual fact, we're not. Andy and his students are building a hybrid that can charge its batteries through a wall socket. This connects the car to the electric grid so it can get energy from distant power plants. Andy is the inventor of the plug-in hybrid, and for 20 years he's been developing and improving his concept. Compared to standard hybrids, the plug-in has more batteries and a larger motor, but needs less space for the engine and the gas tank. Like many, Andy hopes this evolutionary design will cause an energy revolution. This kind of a car can uh, transition us off of oil and onto electricity. It's a major change in that now you can get electricity from the grid. You can take it from your home. You can take it from almost anywhere. So this is a huge difference in terms of the energy source for transportation. With an overnight charge, the batteries hold enough juice to go 60 miles, more than the average daily commute. And for longer trips, it's got an engine that extends its range to 600 miles. If when we stop at Motel 5, for example, we plug the thing in. That's right. Overnight. Borrow a little energy from uh, Motel 5. They, they <laughs> won't even notice. That. That's right. They the wouldn't even. 50 foot. <laughs> That's <laughs> not... I love it. <laughs> 50 foot extension. <laughs> well, or if, uh, if you're a long ways, it may be long ago. You, know? <laughs> you want your room on the second floor? No, no, we've got to be in the first floor. <laughs> got to be in the first floor. <laughs> But, but that's the whole point. Whatever available 110 volt socket is all you need to charge yeah. this car. Skeptics say that all plug-ins do is shift the pollution source from the tailpipe to the smokestack. But studies show that cars powered from today's mix of power plants could reduce greenhouse emissions by about 40%. Further reductions are possible if electric power gets cleaner. Even if you have to build power plants, you're yeah. not using any gasoline. That's right. That's the whole point. The whole you're point. shifting off of gasoline yeah. onto an electric mm -hmm. society. And that once you walk into the electric society window, you open the door to the possibility of direct renewable energy. Electricity can be generated in a lot of different forms. Yeah. And in particular, it can be generated with solar cells on top of your roof. It mm -hmm. could be generated from wind. In other words, today's sunshine will yeah. give you tomorrow's driving. And you put that energy stored in the batteries. Uh, I think the, one of the, the things that this kind of car uh, motivates is the possibility of personal wind and personal solar. My brother's been responsible for a lot of personal <laughs> wind. You know, he's every week. He's, it's mostly wind that we have for him. <laughs> So now we're cruising on electricity alone. It's like, great. Yeah. It's great. And people don't care as long as it does what they want it to do. But you know what it does do that's better than your car? It's faster. It's faster, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it gets better mileage. That's good. Well, and it doesn't pollute as much. It's great. The most important thing is the ability to use a renewable energy directly from the sun. Right. If I can ever get my home nuclear reactor <laughs> shit, to stop working, <laughs> I've got it made. <laughs> it costs four times less to power Frank's plug-in from the grid than it does to run it on gasoline. But if plug-ins become the car of the future, will there be enough electricity to keep them all running? Our existing electric utility system could handle tens of millions of plug-in hybrid vehicles if they would be recharged during off-peak times, such as at night. With today's batteries, plug-ins can only go so far on electricity, but Frank believes they're a viable step toward more efficient transportation. I'm hoping that the car companies really get serious and start building these things because the sooner they get it out in the hands of the public, the sooner we can begin to transition ourselves off of oil.